The thing I love about boxing is that there are so many different ways and variations of fighting in the ring. I guess that's why we call our sport the sweet science, due to every fighter being so different. As they say so famously in boxing, styles make fights. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you will know that I really focus on the styles of fighting and how and why a fighter fights a specific way. Every boxing style has pros and cons, and I have to admit, there are some better than others in my opinion. However, it can also depend on the fighter himself and what level he's at. Even when it comes to specific techniques, palm in, palm down for a hook, I personally was always taught palm up, but I've also had coaches from different backgrounds telling me to use palm in. Sometimes it completely depends on the philosophy of the trainer or the gym and also the level of the fighter and even the situation in a fight. Another example might be having weight on your front or back foot. Twisting your foot with the lead hook or just using your hip, it all depends on the style of the fighter you are. For example, the Cubans adopted the amateur dominant Soviet style but have since progressed it into something of their own. A lot of Cuban boxers almost always favour being on the back foot and using footwork and counterpunching, putting more weight on the back foot so you can load up your back hand to counter, as they usually aim to break you down over time or to get a judge's decision. Where it's almost the opposite in a place like Mexico, you're told to put more weight on your front foot so you can apply pressure and throw body shots so you can also create openings up top, all with the main aim of knocking you out and not relying on the judges. From the UK, from my own experience, you'll be taught more conventional footwork instead of using fancy techniques that you'll see all over Instagram nowadays, like diagonal footwork, for example. However, nothing is actually wrong with using these different techniques from different styles of fighting. It depends what's right for you and your style and your ability. I feel that the sweet science goes through periods of differing styles as young fighters try to emulate their idols. It's funny how I see many guys try to use the Philly shell without having actually been trained or taught by a trainer who has used it himself. But sometimes, even though they haven't been trained properly in it, it helps create unpredictability within their own style. I do think overall that you need a balance of styles, you don't want to be too dominant in one or lack in another. That is when you will sometimes see better boxers even lose to lesser fighters level wise, mainly due to that counteracting style. An example off the top of my head might be Muhammad Ali really struggling against the likes of Ken Norton, whereas George Foreman managed to take him out with ease. The best boxers have always been the ones that have been able to adapt to what is in front of them. This is so they can gain advantage of their opponent and give them the best chance for victory, who sometimes get overwhelmed by the pressure, speed or tactics, even the mental side. That is why I love some of the lessons Bruce Lee teaches in his Jeet Kune Do, where he teaches you to be able to adapt to any scenario that is thrown at you while being able to react accordingly. It teaches you to know when to attack or go in the back foot while being effective with your energy and movements so you're not limiting yourself. It's why he says you should be like water. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Like Some of the great American boxers that have adopted this philosophy include the likes of Andre Ward, Terence Crawford, Bernard Hopkins, even Floyd Mayweather, who are brilliant examples of combining styles and techniques to be more tactical in the ring. It may not be the most exciting at times to watch, but everything they do is to be one step ahead of their opponent, to flow and then crash when the opportunity arises. Overall, in terms of picking the right style for yourself if you're a beginner, learning the solid fundamentals are the key thing to do first. And once you're comfortable, then you can choose what style you wish to be or combine. But 
in almost all cases, I believe it's what comes most naturally to you. Yes, it's great to combine certain styles with each other, but I always recommend what comes naturally to you in my opinion. To conclude, there is no perfect style in boxing. There is no right style in boxing. They all have their pros and cons, and it also can depend on the level of the opponent. As I said at the start of this video, styles make fights.